Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into your reading. Okay, guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life. Okay, what love messages do we have for Scorpio at this time? What does Scorpio need to know regarding their love life? Okay, so we're starting off with the moon. We have uh, a lot of messages coming through with that. Okay, the Ace of Wands. Let's see, one more card, please, for Scorpio. What's going on regarding their love life? Okay, last shuffle. What's going on? Okay. Okay. All right, so we have the moon. Let me actually take these out so you can see them. We have the moon. We have the ace of wands. And we have the queen of cups here. Okay, so for some of you, this is your energy, okay? This is a uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, this is your reading. You may also be dealing with another water sign. This can also be somebody that's just very loving, sensitive, um, nurturing, um, sweetheart. Okay, so I see here that for those of you already in a relationship, if this is a new relationship, you might be having some like fears and insecurities because, you know, you have this passionate new relationship and... For those of you that this is your energy, I'm feeling that you're just, you're nervous and you're scared because the emotions are very intense and you have these fears and insecurity that something is going to go wrong, okay? This can also be their energy if you're dealing with this water energy that I've already explained, okay? So let's see. So if this is a relationship, like I said, that you're newly in or this is someone coming up that you're going to meet where you're going to have this passionate new beginning, but you're going to feel very insecure due to the intense feelings and emotions here. Okay, you might feel it's like too much too soon, too good to be true. So you're going to start like doubting it and just being like, oh, I don't know, you know, but let's see. This is also a general reading, not a private reading. So the outcome is going to vary for you guys. Okay, some of you it will work out, some of you it won't. So let's see what's going on here. Let me have more details for Scorpio, please, regarding their love life. What's going on with Scorpio's love life? What love messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay. So very interesting here. We have mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflect our wounds, introspection. So you may have been recently hurt in the past. Um... And so that could be why you're having these fears and insecurity because you're, like I said, the, the feelings and the emotions are so intense here that you're afraid to get hurt again. Now, mirroring each other, this person feels the same way as you, whether it's they don't want to get hurt again either, or they feel just as intense for you as you do for them. Okay. So the feeling is mutual here. I just want you to keep that in mind. Okay, now, you're going to love this. 
I'm going to put this here. Okay, so then we have passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. All right, so you're going to have, like I said, a great connection. This is a passionate relationship here. So we have passion coming through. So this is just confirming the passion part. You guys got this insane chemistry. So this is just flowing together beautifully. And then we have boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving. Okay, so you're getting what you need from this person. Okay, it, it makes sense that this connection is the way it is because you guys do connect, you do click, you do feel the same way about each other. Okay, so let's get some more messages here. So whether you're in a relationship or this is someone new coming in, let's go to my initial deck and see if we can get some initials, person, place, or thing, however it connects you with your person. Let's get some messages for Scorpio, please. Let's get some details to describe who their person is that's coming in or that they may newly be dealing with. Okay, so we have the letter E, A, person, place, or thing, keep that in mind, Y, it can be a location, F, C, all right, so I'm seeing Faye here, someone's name may be Faye, or it could be somebody really is into fairies and W. I'm also seeing um, Case, like Edgar Case. I know they have a center in um, in New York City and Virginia Beach, so somebody may be affiliated with Edgar Case or just Edgar Case's work. Um, I'm also seeing Face spelled out here, so there's something about someone's face. Um, some I'm getting someone might be a model or someone just like staring at your face. They may say to you like, I miss your face. Something to do with your face. Okay, so E-A-Y-F-C-W, however it resonates with you. Now let's pull some trait cards that I've also created. Okay, and these cards are copyrighted, just saying, for anybody out there that's maybe looking for new ideas, these are copyrighted, they're mine. <laughs> I created them. Okay, so let's see, what traits does your person have, Scorpio? Oof. What traits does your person have? Okay, what traits does Scorpio's person have? Last shuffle. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so some traits of your person. Now keep in mind, since this is a general reading, it doesn't have to be all of these cards that are your person's traits. It could be some, one, maybe none. Maybe it's just the letters or just the message that resonates with you. Okay, so your person is trustworthy. May have tattoos. May have piercings. Now with face coming through, um, I'm hearing that this person may have like uh, piercings on their face or like maybe a tattoo on their face or both. Ooh, trustworthy and loyal. You guys got a good one coming in. <laughs> okay. They are intellectual. Affectionate which totally makes sense since we have this insane chemistry and passion here and all this love. For some of you, this person is short or shorter than you. So if you're like six feet tall, they might be five, eight, you know, shorter than you or short. And then the last is hair. So there's something that um, is very special about their hair. You may love their hair, um, the length, you know, the, the quality may be like, oh, they have gorgeous hair. It could just be the color of the hair. It may be, you know, like very short, outrageous punk style hair, but their hair is a distinguishing um, trait here. It's, it's standing out in some way. Okay. All right. So let's see now. I'm going to go to my celebrity deck and see what other features your person may have. Now with these cards, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. 
Please subscribe if you haven't already, and welcome to the family. Okay, so with these cards, you look at the artist, you look at their hair color, style, you know, mustache, glasses, whatever, polka dotted shirt, stripes, look at the letter or the number on the card because that could um, represent something with timing like hours, days, weeks, months, or a particular month too would be February, you know, so that could be like if this is someone you, you've already known, then the, the month you met or the month you started dating or something like that or something that will happen in the future. This is all a general reading, so I get as many messages out as I can to try and help you connect with your person that you're dealing with or that's coming in in the future, okay? And if there is an artist here that you like that comes out and a particular song pops into your head, then make sure you listen to the lyrics of that song for more messages. Okay. And also this person that you're dealing with may like the genre of music. All right. So any other messages for Scorpio? Last shuffle regarding their person, please and thank you. All right. All right, so we have the number four, Rock and Roll, Bruce Springsteen. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to study the pictures longer. Pop music, the letter K, Michael Jackson. Rock and Roll, Patti Smith, number five. Blue Soul and R&B, Amy Winehouse, number five again. So that's two fives here. And Rock and Roll, Mick Jagger, number six. We got three rock and rolls here. So somebody really likes rock and roll. <laughs> okay, so the numbers are four, five, five, six, and the letter K. Now let's see if we can get some details of this person's sole purpose or occupation to help you more identify with your person. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Can give us some more details about their person. Thank you so much. I'm hearing artistic and creative. An artist just came out, so that's actually coming through as this person can be some kind of artist or artistic or very creative. So engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life. So I'm getting like painter, writer, um, someone might also be um, like a graphic artist because that's still creative. That's still, you know, being artistic, making those graphics, even though it's through the computer, it still counts. Then we have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. So someone may be involved with doing some practice. I'm hearing sports. Sports, someone's going to practice a lot. And this in here, she's um, playing a flute so this could also be somebody that is a musician which would be considered an artist as well because you're creating music as well okay all right so let's see do I have any other cards I need to pull here for my Scorpios okay I'm gonna pull a moonology deck well the moonology deck any last messages for Scorpio regarding their person. Any last messages for Scorpio regarding their person? Okay, so we have waning moon. What do you need to release? So you need to release this fear and insecurity for those of you that it resonates with. And waning moon phase, that's the best time to do releasing. Okay, and then we have nothing will come of this situation. So this negativity, if you don't release it, then nothing will come of the situation. It, it's not going to turn out well if you don't let your hair down, so to speak. Oh, and I just looked at this. It says short hair. So someone may actually have short hair. It's actually staring me in the face right now. Okay, surrender to the divine full moon, which makes sense here. So nothing will come of this situation if you don't release this negative energy. So surrender to the divine. Your, need, your dreams need a practical plan, full moon, and Taurus. Okay, so you may also be dealing with a Taurus. 
this is a timeless reading so look up to see when is full moon in Taurus if that time is relevant otherwise new a uh, full moon came out twice so that full moon phase that's coming up based on when you're watching this may be a relevant timing for you as well okay so those are your messages Scorpio thank you so much for liking sharing watching and subscribing peace and love I have readings on sale for this week at zenwithinme.com if you're interested in a private I will see you in the next reading